I wanted to put out this video because Spirit said I had some messages to give about today. It was a rainy day it started out and then it turned beautifully beautiful and sunny and I was about to go take my spiritual bath. Well, just a regular bath, but you could call it a spiritual bath. I could call it, I call it a spiritual bath. I just wanted to um I was taking out the garbage today because tomorrow's garbage day and I was riding the riding mower and um I saw a peacock. And I believe it's a female peacock. The male peacock is very showy and it definitely wasn't showy, the showy peacock, although we do have those here. But Spirit is saying to really be proud of where you are right now. You've gone through a lot, you've transmuted a lot of energies, and my last video, I don't know if you could feel the energies, it was a little bit more aggressive. And um, just be aware that there are people that do project their energies onto you and that comes through the ethers just like thoughts or things so even though you're divinely protected continue to say your prayers protect yourself call in the archangels your guardian angels your spiritual team and have that communication but spirit says definitely be very proud of yourself um, and continue on your work and healing those parts of you that that might still ha be triggered. Excuse me. I don't have my water with me right now and I need to drink more water and I will. My kitty's over there. We're um, getting to love each other again. She scratched me. Well, she put her claws on me yesterday. Um, so there's a little animosity towards her and with each other. So she just, she slept near the window last night. But she knew I wasn't very happy with her actions. And I understand she's just, it's only been a week and she's getting used to her new environment and Miko. Um was in her space so maybe that message for is for someone that you need to protect your space and be mindful of your environment and um, know that again you're protected you have your guardian angels you have God behind you and if you're not comfortable with that ask yourself why you wouldn't be comfortable with your creator having you back. And um, Spirit's asking you to trust, you know, really trust your intuition and trust your gut feeling about or feelings about what you're getting. Um, a lot of times these messages are sent not to upset you but to illuminate that which is hidden from you because you will have people that are trying to get into your energy and there's a lot of gossip on your name and some of these things you're just not even aware of. And that's okay because that is your spiritual team protecting you. So trust that. Trust what you're getting. Because whatever you're getting intuitively or through dream state or through meditation or however you are picking up your messages only you know your gifts everyone has gifts even those that operate in a lower vibrational state they also have gifts and the difference is 
you use your gifts for positive outcomes, positive outcomes for all, not just for self. And there's nothing wrong wanting good things and, and rewards and um, positive outcomes for yourself. But it can't be in the for the detriment of the total collective or for other people. So really think about that. Everybody's put in different situations. And some things, sometimes you want something so bad or sometimes you have a certain goal and you're, you'll have obstacles. So... Some people are willing to do whatever, and I believe my last video was titled The Devil Energy Sold Their Soul, literally. We don't want to be doing that, <laughs> because you know the devil or the lower energies, all of that is a lie. And perhaps those that choose to stay in those energies of jealousy, anger, envy, greed, they want something so bad that they're willing to, in essence, sell their soul, or in essence, do whatever it takes work from malice and really they don't care about hurting people who they hurt as long as they win so I want to stay on a positive note obviously there's those that are picking up on those negative vibrations and um, spirit doesn't want you to be thrown off balance and focus on positive things. Spirit wants you to focus on what you can do to better yourself and to connect more with God and continue to pray and even pray for those that have have gotten off their path that were possibly manipulated by other people that were promised the world promised great riches promised this that and the other if they were they compromised themselves and this goes back to your morals and your values, your compass, your moral compass, your moral values. And possibly revisiting that. You know, I, I, um, I often say I feel, I actually told this to my girlfriend the other day, I feel sometimes I'm, I have one foot in, you know, this physical world, right? And I have two feet in this 3D world, the spiritual world. And she said that, you know, I really should have that balance. I should be able to do both. And and I do. I, I For the most part, I do. But I do have my priorities. And my priority is God, number one. Um, and I never could really understand that when I was younger, like putting God first. I mean, I already went to church. You know, I just didn't have that understanding. And growing up in in the religion that I grew up Catholic, it was very mysterious. It was like, um, they didn't really explain, and I'm not knocking Catholicism at all. I'm just saying that um, those who have been to Mass, if you grew up um, in that faith, it was very... Uh, confusing to say the least 
So that might be another vid video altogether. But, um, you know, I had to change some beliefs about myself. I had to change some beliefs about who I am. I had to really discover who I was. And, and a lot of it was really learning through experience. And I was given such a blessing to have such a challenging life. And I don't mean it like physically, you know, because I wasn't, um, I didn't go through some of the very difficult parent-child relationships that a lot of you went through or suffered through. Um, I actually had very, um, very good parents, very good parents overall, who always provided. And um, I, I always, tell my mom, you know, aren't you glad that I chose you? Because going back to the plan and God's plan for you, I, I believe that we choose our parents before we come into this incarnation. We have some say. And the specific parents that we choose, we choose them to learn lessons. We're, we choose them to have very specific experiences or potential potential development or yes potential I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but um, we place ourselves in that family dynamic in order to reach our potential the potential plan the blueprint that was laid out in front of us or we help plan prior. In the end, it's always God. He is the master of our story. We have this path and we have potentially several paths that lead us to the same outcome. And that's really connecting to our creator, God, and realizing who we really are and I'm not talking about the personality although that has a lot to do with it um, but who we are in the spiritual realm who we are to God this is such a better energy this is this right now I feel so much better than what it was earlier today and I felt great I mean the rain was wonderful the weather was great I enjoy a good rain I enjoy a nice sunshine but um, and I think a lot of people too can sense people that are around them or even at a distance that do not really want the best for you. So it, those thoughts and those intentions travel and sometimes you'll feel it. Sometimes you're going to pick up on these things. Sometimes people attack you, but I believe that I'm divinely guided. I believe those who resonate with this message are divinely guided as well and they're so protected so a lot of these things they just are sent back to whoever is is attacking you or your name or or whatever plan they have not everyone's going to be like you. Not everyone is built like you. Not everyone has gone through what you've gone through. Not everyone has chosen to level up. Not a lot. There, there are people that refuse to change. They've told you to your face that they've, they, they don't want to change.
they like who they are and that's okay but that doesn't mean that God wants them in your life and you have to be really solid on what you want in your life and what lessons you learn and who you want in your energy it's very important and sometimes like I've said in the past videos sometimes it could be friends um, family that you've known all your life so my kitty's over there she's got her paw over her eyes I think the, uh, the light is bothering her So trust in divine timing. Trust that your creator has your back. Trust that you have, you have guides. You have your spiritual team that surround you. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be still to really hear them. And some of you are hearing them all the time. All the time but ignore them ignore the energies ignore the the guidance ignore your higher self once you trust your own guidance which is in essence your intuition once you trust Really trust. Trust is, is, is key. Trust is, is important. Trust and have faith that you have a divine purpose. And that can encompass a lot of, a lot of things and a lot of circumstances and a lot of cycles in this lifetime so divine timing is always God's time God's will and um, sometimes divine timing means that it's when you learn that lesson you're able to move out of this cycle this cycle that you've been on it's like a hamster wheel and if you get tired of being on that same wheel and the things that you do aren't working and the the contracts that you sign are not good or those relationships that that you revisit just don't work out you might want to ask yourself is there a lesson that's being taught here and I'm am I just not getting it so when I always I always said I've always said you know don't fight the universe don't fight the universe and the universe is God you will be guided I want I'm here to tell you to trust of course use your own discernment it's this the discernment is all your senses all your all the thoughts and the the feelings and the emotions you get when when a situation is put in front of you or when you're in the middle of your circumstances and it just doesn't feel right it doesn't seem right it doesn't and you know it's not right 
yet you stay in it. You stay in that situation or you don't make a move, you don't take action. And I'm not, I'm not judging anyone because I understand it. it's hard. It's hard to make that decision. It's hard to leave that job. It's hard to change that mindset. It's hard to move. It's hard, you know, sometimes it's hard to change. But if you trust, you believe, you have faith, that you can make it on your own, you can be without those certain attachments, those certain people, those certain circumstances in your life, and you will have all the support your spiritual team, from your spiritual team, from God, you have all the support you need. If you could look at the bigger picture, if you can really understand you are so loved. And those that have, and I think that's all of us, we haven't lived a perfect life. We haven't lived you know, on the straight and narrow, we've deviated, we've gotten off the path, we've, we've caused harm to others, knowingly or unknowingly, for our own self-satisfaction. Hey, kitty. There she is. Hi, sweet girl. I just want to put this out there. And even though we've deviated, you know, God has a divine timing for you as well. We're not separate. We're all in it together. And I want to just spread love and, 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 and the message that Everyone is welcome back on the path. Everyone's welcome to find their way back to their creator. Everyone's welcome to evolve and awaken to their own truth. And sometimes it starts with just being really honest with yourself, really honest with your situation and stop being in denial and cutting those cords, cutting those attachments that no longer serve you, that, that keep you stuck in this energy and most of the time it's 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 the people that are around you even the ones that have raised you friends that have been around for decades and because of our loyalties because of the time put in because of our dependency um our level of comfort our inability to let go and detach fear because of those low those are all lower energies those are all lower vibrational energies because it's not love. I mean, it's Yeah, it's not the highest form of love. Instead of going to others, going to who we think are our mentors, who are who we think are um 
first of all, if you're taking advice from people that you don't want it, you yourself wouldn't want to emulate. Maybe they've never had a relationship, like a love relationship. Maybe they're not, you know, where you want to be financially, yet you're taking advice from someone who is financially a mess. Someone who has never had a relationship, you're taking love advice, or someone who is a loner and doesn't really care about anybody, and yet you're listening to them about friendships and loyalty and um, connection. You might want to ask yourself, why would you do that? <laughs> Think about who you're getting your advice from. It would be better just to go within. Go within. Be still. Ask God. If you're not comfortable with asking God, go to your higher self. Go to your subconscious. I hope I'm making sense for for those that are still <laughs> there. <sighs> Trust in divine timing. And I'm going to say one more thing as far as divine timing. And a lot of um, divine timing can be as quick as you moving through these energies that are so dense and so detrimental that that's keeping you stuck, that's keeping you stagnant, that's keeping you from your creativity, that's, um, that's not moving you forward. It could be that divine timing is going to happen will happen as soon as you realize these lessons that Spirit, Almighty God is trying to have you learn. Do you want to go through another cycle of the same thing that you just went through or that you went through a couple of years ago or 20 years ago? Only you can decide when you want to learn the lessons and when you want to change, when you want to acknowledge that there's some healing work to be done. And I think we're always healing. We're always healing. I, I, I've said this before. You're always healing from something. Something that's from the past. Something that's happening now. Something that um, will come in the future. You're going to heal from that too. And, you know, in the end... I don't think you're going to say, I don't think anybody said that, like, in fact, I've heard a lot of people say, I, you know, it was a really crappy experience, it was a really difficult experience, but they don't regret the experience because they were able to become more spiritually evolved, become more enlightened, become more compassionate, become more empathetic, become a better version of themselves from what they were before the experience, before the, before those challenges came into their lives. And a lot of times it's a very bittersweet ending and a lot and most of the time actually most of the time when you've 
you've triumphed and you've overcome those situations and you've healed and you've learned the lessons and you could laugh and you could smile and you could talk to your spiritual team and say, wow, that was, that was insane. What's next? And do it enthusiastically because let's face it, you're going to always have those people that, um, that are going to want to use your energy, that are going to want to one-up you, that are going to always want to um, get whatever they can get from you. Whether it be love or money or status, clout, um, anything material, anything emotional, anything spiritual. Maybe they want to be like you spiritually, but they don't want to put in the work. Maybe they want the blessings that God is more than willing, um, more than willing to give them if they do that work. No one could do the work for you. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to draw myself a bath and, um, I've checked on the little animal creatures. <laughs> They've been pretty good today. You know, just trust. Trust in divine timing. You are part of that. It's not like you're separate from your your journey you are the journey you are you are the main character in your own journey so i think that was a spirit orb i, I see a lot of them if you guys see a lot of these little white floating those are orbs those are those are orbs some people think it's camera the camera it's not this room is filled with spirit because I protect my space. I do my rituals. I pray to God. I ask for, for protection and love and abundance and blessings from, from my creator. And I try to walk the path of what he wants me to do. And sometimes I don't get enough sleep because, but... You know, I'm always told I need to get more rest. And when you're excited about what God wants you to do and and serve your purpose and do the mission, there goes another one. <laughs> then then you're you know, you will be filled with so much energy. You don't need a lot of sleep. So I hope this message or these messages resonated with some of you out there. Hopefully um, it helped you in some way. And if it did, please, I'd love for you to like, subscribe, share, make a comment down below. If you have any comments, good or bad, I'm a big proponent on free speech so for the lovers and the haters you can put your comments um, and yeah I want this to be something that um, I want you to be comfortable I want you to feel comfortable if this is the only place in YouTube world that you feel you can express yourself and if you totally disagree with me that's fine too if you love it put hearts down if you don't want to comment that's okay as well but I um, I will see you on the next video and trust in the divine I'm gonna leave you with that message take care <laughs>